Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Beardsworth Gonzalez Gymnasium on the campus of New Bedford High School, where tonight the New Bedford Cable Network is proud to present boys' high school basketball action. It's the homestanding Whalers of New Bedford High taking on the Brockton Boxers. Joe Cabral and Chris Santos with you at the Beardsworth Gonzalez Gymnasium in the Ed Rodericks Court. Two teams that we've done many times, Chris, yep. but we've not done them often when the records for New Bedford and Brockton are 3-7 and seven and 2-7, and seven respectively. Yeah, and normally it's the reverse way. It's kind of 7-2s and 7-3s and and uh, for records, but unfortunately both teams having a tough time and a tough go of it, playing some good hard ball, don't get me wrong, and resilient at times to come back and, you know, put in good efforts, but just not getting the Ws. Uh, and Emmanuel DeBarrows saying to me that Brockton's very young uh, and at the same time, uh, resilient team, but play a tough schedule, tough for them to you know really get going. Uh, they're, they're finding their hard knocks definitely this year. For New Bedford, I've seen them quite a few times. They've had their chances, they have their opportunities. They're just not able to put it over the top and uh, get their wins that they need to get. Yeah, I mean, we've seen them, as you mentioned, several times and for New Bedford, it's just been inconsistent play when they've needed play down the stretch in several games, and we've not seen them be able to do that. Tonight, they'll be taking on Brockton. I'm sure Brockton is a team that thinks here, hey, we're going into New Bedford. They're only 3-7. and seven. We've got a young team. We can beat them tonight. So New Bedford needs to be on the top of its game if they – Expect to beat Brockton here tonight because I think Brockton's going to really come out uh, with a lot of intensity tonight and, and belief that they can win this one on the road. Yeah, a lot of energy still from this team, even though they're two and seven. Uh, some good players, uh, good coaching. You know, we, we've known um, Bobby Bone for a long time. He is now the assistant coach. We saw him on the JV game. Uh, it's a name that is synonymous around this area in basketball. Never mind right here in this gymnasium uh, when he's had some great matchups with some good Brockton teams. So good to see him still in the business. But it is Emmanuel DeBarros and his starting lineup right now. Here's the Brockton boxes. Number five is Marcus Forts. He'll be a guard here tonight. Number 15 is Nathan Okiri. Okiri will be... Number at a forward spot. Number 20 for, uh, check that, number 10, Judson Philogene will be a forward. Number 12, Cody Lambert will be a guard along with number two, John Francois. For New Bedford, JT Godine will be one of the forwards here tonight. 15 is Jaron Godine, his brother, he'll be the point guard here this evening. Number three in the three guard system for New Bedford is Craig Baptista. Number one, the other forward here tonight is Anthony Diacate, and number zero is Javion Lloyd. He'll be a guard again in that three guard system for New Bedford. The crowd's rising here for our national anthem. National Anthem 
New Bedford and Brockton meeting here tonight at the Beardsworth Gonzalez Gymnasium. Again, the lineups for Brockton, Francois, Forts, Lambert, Okire, along with number two, uh, number five, uh, number ten, I should say, Judson Philogene. Yep. For New Bedford, it'll be zero. Lloyd, number one, Diacate, number three, Baptista, number 15, Goodine, and number 33, J.T. Goodine. There you see New Bedford head coach Matt Hill meeting with his squad. One, two, three, Last time we were here together, Chris, a tough loss for New Bedford. They had the ball with a chance in the closing seconds and never got a shot away. Turned nope. it over and lost uh, by two. Yep. And so it's been games like that where they've been in some games. They have not been in some games as well. So let's see how they jump out in the first five minutes, which has been slow lately. Need to turn that around. Opening tip. Is controlled by New Bedford. This is Goodine. JT Goodine gets it to Jaron. Jaron Goodine way up top. He was being guarded by number 12, Lambert. Working around the perimeter here. New Bedford gets it back up top to JT. Now Jaron Goodine. Brockton in a 2-3 zone reacting quickly here. Lloyd tried to go cross court. Got it to Goodine. Now uh, here's Lloyd taking the quick three. That's a shot you need to take. If you don't make it, you're not going to win, but you got to take it. That's yep. an open shot. It's good ball movement. Set it up, just missed it. Forts with the basketball for Brockton. Hesitation move, bounces it off his foot, out of bounds. New Bedford basketball. Good pressure as they went over the line. And that's what the Barrels are saying to his guard. Said, what are you waiting for? Get the ball to the basket. 2-2-1, pressure from Brockton. New Bedford beats it, here's Baptista. Lloyd, Goodine. Oh, tried to get it inside to JT Goodine, turnover. Brockton tries to run the floor and New Bedford saves it. With the basketball, that's Forts. Marcus Forts and they get it in the corner for Lambert's jumper, his shot no good. Rebound to Brockton's Okire. Now back to Forts to the paint, had his shot swatted away. It'll stay Brockton basketball. Both teams feeling each other out, Joe. A lot of man-to-man -man matchup once it gets over half court. Brockton's Marcus Forts inbounding. Gets the ball into the hands of Francois. John Francois tried to get to the paint. Offensive foul on the pick is gonna be called against Judson Philogene. Top of the key, did not set his feet, moving screen. They called him on it. Once again, another three-man crew here tonight in New Bedford. Goodine, he'll beat the pressure and get it to Lloyd. Lloyd to the paint, bounce pass inside, and laid up and in by New Bedford's Diakite. Good so Anthony Diakate gets the first points on the board for New Bedford. Lloyd made a good move and a bounce pass from the foul line down low. Diakate off the glass with the left hand for two. Forts with the basketball. Advances it to Francois. John Francois being guarded by Baptista. Dumps it inside. Got it to number 10, Philogene. His shot no good, followed by Francois, no good. Rebound to New Bedford's Goodine. Jaron Goodine racing it up the floor. With a left hand handle, got it to Lloyd in the corner. Baptista, he's gonna take a three. His shot goes Ooh. up, around and in. Ooh. Friendly kiss off the glass. So New Bedford's Baptista gets the bounce and the Whalers lead it five nothing. That's Lambert. Oh, it could have been Steps call there easily against Francois. Yeah. A break for Brockton. And they'll keep the basketball as it goes out of bounds off of New Bedford. Messiah Pina checks in for the first time, wearing number 20. Gives, New uh, gives Brockton a little bit 
more height. Mm -hmm. They'll go to Pina immediately. He'll drop it inside to Francois with the sky hook. And Brockton's on the board on the basket by John Francois. Good quick pass inside, too. I like how Pina saw that early. Here's Baptista. Got it to Goodine. And a foul will be called against Brockton's forts. His first team second. Inbound here from Goodine. Got it to Diakate off the glass. No good. Rebound to Brockton. That's Philogene. Advanced it up the floor. Got it to Francois. He missed the shot. Knocked out of bounds by Philogene. It'll be New Bedford basketball. Here's Lloyd. To the paint, bounces again. it inside, wide open. And Goodine, JT, lays it up and in. It's just a good first step from Lloyd. Forts nearly lost the basketball. Lambert comes away with it. They'll get it up the floor. Pina to the goal, had his shot blocked, gets the, re the rebound of the block, and then is fouled. See who they're calling this on. They're gonna call it on Lloyd. To the free throw line, it's Messiah Pina. Seven three, New Bedford leads it. Second attempt upcoming for Pina is Brockton. Makes a substitution here. Philogene will, will check out. And number three, Nathan Ratto will check in. And two free throws for Pina. Brockton trails at 7-4. Lloyd being guarded by Lambert. Brockton again, 2-3 matchup zone. Not enough movement right now from New Bedford. No. That was Brunskill. Now back to Goodine. Tries to work his way inside. Lloyd was in the corner, wide open. Brunskill on a runner, no good. Rebound inside to Akate. He comes down with the ball after a block, and then a foul will be called against Brockton. But they had Lloyd wide open on this side of the floor. So one of the keys to spread the floor, Chris, is you got to have someone outside the three-point line, and when they're open, you got to give them the ball and, and let them make shots. Yep. Baptista from distance, no good. Rebound, batted around, Lloyd has it. He's going to step into a 17-footer, back iron. Diakate with the rebound. Tries to work his way inside, draws a foul. So New Bedford with three chances there in that possession. Send Diakate to the free throw line. As Reto picks up his first. Team fourth now. Anthony. Back iron, no good. Free throw from Diakate gives New Bedford the 8-4 lead as he hits one of two. Bad pass there from Brockton. Turnover, New Bedford basketball. We're not used to this, Chris. New Bedford and Brockton and a slow-paced game. No tempo to the game at all. Usually it's frenetic. Yeah, just just seems like a different, different atmosphere. No question. This year. And, and Brockton playing at a different pace, yep. different speed. Yep. And lay it up and in Lloyd. His first points of the night. 
10-4 New Bedford and Brockton calls a timeout. Always had big guys, always had like a, a kind of a, a stud player to go with. Not, not seeing any of that right now. And, you the, know? and the pace of play to me yeah. is, is dramatically different. New Bedford has had the ebbs and flows. We, of course, do more New Bedford games right. than Brockton. But whenever we see Brockton, they always come in playing with tempo. Yep. And you mentioned that Bob Bowen, no longer the head coach, he's the assistant, and it just looks like a different coaching philosophy, to be frank with you. Right now, from Emmanuel to Barrels, we'll see if it works out, but they're, they're very conservative in their defense. They basically use a half-court press, 2-2-1, two, two, and then once you get past the half-court, it looks like it's zone, and then at times it looks like it's man, but it's conservative. It's conservative. It's not aggressive on the ball like we are used to seeing. So they call timeout to regroup and hopefully they can find something and get back to what they do well uh, that we've seen in the past. Lambert to inbound. Brockton has gone to the bench and Aaron Carlett, number four, is in. That's Lambert. Had his pass stolen by Lloyd, but he was going to step out of bounds, yeah. so he had to give it up to Corlett, and then he fouls. Yeah, but that's not a good foul because that's Corlett. his second. Yep, he and we've he, seen those. He didn't need to do that. Yeah, we've seen those bad fouls a bit too much from New Bedford. You make a mistake, just let it go. And you compound it with, a, as you said, a bad foul. Yep. This is Nathan Ratto. Ratto bounce pass, got it to Francois. Kicks to the corner, Corlett. Now back up top, Ratto. 12 is Lambert. New Bedford now in a 2-3 zone. Oh, check that, it looks like a 3-2 zone. Kick one inside. He traveled. And steps will be called against Pina. Get the ball to Diakate, to the goal, Strong. lay it up and in. Anthony Diakate. Exactly where he belongs though, right down there in the trenches. This is Ratto. Try to get it to Francois. This is dramatic from Brockton in my opinion, Chris. Again, playing at such a slow pace, something I've never seen from them. Well, they are young, and it's rebuilding, and uh, it's just a different program right now. So they're going to have their lumps, and this is one of them years. Number 15 was Okere. Now they'll get it back to up top to Ratto. Okere inside, and a foul will be called against New Bedford. I think they're going to call it on Brunskill. Yeah, you do. Then he pushed. 2.03 remaining, 12 4 the score. Okire got it to Francois. Oh. Tries to turn inside and travels. Double team came, that's why. Brunskill first, he turned back. Guess who's there? Good dying. That's when he traveled. Goodine, a weave here. Got it to Rivera. That's Baptista for three. This time does not get the friendly bounce. And Brockton's Francois in transition. That's gonna be an off, oh, he's gonna call it a block. Looked like an offensive foul from here. Come on, Rivera. But they're gonna call it a block against Isaac. Rivera, and that'll be a two-shot foul, sending John Francois to the free throw line. One thirty-seven left in the first quarter. Twelve-five. 
Whalers. One of two, loose ball on the floor. Brockton comes away with it. Okire, right at the Francois. Ratto in the corner, Francois. Drop it to the low block. Okire kicks to the corner. The three from there, no good by Deshaun Hodge. Brockton comes away with the basketball and now turns it over. But Brockton gets it right back with Hodge. And then he turns it over to Goodine. Rivera for three, shoots an air ball. Goodine inside, he double dribbled the basketball. Wow, holy smoke. Official calls a foul, I wanna see that on replay. You're gonna see, unless I'm, I've lost my referee's eye, you're gonna see him bounce the basketball, catch it with two hands and go right back and bounce it again. Here's Rivera Let's with the three, it. no good. Ball gets loose, watch here, boom. Two hands, so oh, there it was, yep. as clear as can be. Good call. But they didn't see it. <laughs> well, I've not lost my touch, Chris. That was a double dribble if you've ever seen one. Yep. Good eye hits a free throw. New Bedford catching a break there. Foul was called on Hodge, his first. And Short. One of two. Brunskill inside. Oh, he had block. a shot blocked. Francois swatted that one away. Very surprising. Not a lot of offense for Brockton in this first quarter. Rivera. Oh, kicks it inside. And up and in by Diakate. Count the basket. And he will go to the free throw line. Yes, it's good. The foul is on Akiri. His first. Watch it again. Good pass from Rivera. I like him cutting through the lane. That's the first on Nathan Okire. Free throw line from for Diakate. He misses the shot. New Bedford knocks it out of bounds. Brockton basketball. Whalers leading it 15 to 5. This is Francois. Nearly turned it over again. That's Ratto for three. He shot an air ball. Francois. Brockton still with time. 15 on the shot clock. Penetration from Ratto. Nearly lost it. And steps. And they're going to call traveling on Nathan Ratto. When have you seen Brockton? Seven turnovers in the first quarter. And they have five points, Chris. That's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. It really is. 20.8 seconds, seven turnovers for Brock. They have more turnovers than points wow. in the quarter. This is Goodine. JT Goodine, we've from New Bedford. Desmond Brunskill back to Goodine. He got away with that double dribble. Gonna really Bounces it inside. Diakate <laughs> missed the follow. Had two good chances from inside. And the quarter mercifully yes. comes to a close. Really didn't even take a lot of shots, did Brockton. No. Nope. And just kind of just you know, turned the basketball just over. Just turned Chris, it over. Based I mean, on what you have there statistically. They, they, they got one basket. And they got free two throws. free throws. And uh, three free throws to that, make five points. It's it. incredible. Five points in the quarter for Brockton. Never yep. seen anything like it. Yep. Wasn't like New Bedford was lighting it up with 15, but the four quarters, it's still scoring 60 points. Yep. So a 15 5 first quarter advantage for the Whalers. Had him six for 16 in that first quarter in shooting so where the whale is. Not a great percentage. Yeah. And I had one for seven for Brockton with that only one basket. But the seven turnovers compared to New Bedford, only had New Bedford with two. So, I mean, 
At least they had a chance yep. to shoot the basketball. Yep. Brockton only attempted, as you mentioned, seven shots. One of seven, that's about 12%. Side shot is blocked. That was Akure trying to get to the rim. Baptista to the goal, throws up a shot in traffic. No good. Rebound here to Brockton. He'll advance it up the floor to Francois, and he throws it Ooh. down. John Whoa. Francois. I just didn't see that coming. No. I thought he was just going to lay it up. Rivera tried to get inside. All of a sudden, Brockton has picked up the intensity a bit here, and it comes on the slam by Francois Ooh. and on the pass and after the steal by Forts. There's Francois. But that's his third for Forts. And he's going to go to the bench. He has to. Go that one. Not a good foul because he seemed to bring a little bit of juice yeah. as he came back in. Baptista goes for a backdoor cut yeah. stolen by Francois. Here he goes again. They're going to call a foul. Holy smoke. Flagrant? Said he grabbed the shirt? Yes. He called it on another play, a player away from the play. Two shots plus the ball. Yep. Wow. Who was that on? So he was on the far side of the floor. Francois was in the open, so it's a good call if it's shoot two and wow. possession. So... I don't know if we can see that one again. Because Francois was ahead of the pack. He was headed for another slam. No. Yeah. But the official said no. Shoot two. That's an intentional foul. Francois misses both free throws. Well, I don't like New Bedford's last two possessions. No. You know, you can't have those turnovers there. Got to be better. That's Ratto. Pass inside. Basketball to Okire. He gets the roll. Not a great pass, but somehow found its way in there, Chris. Yep, and enough to get this uh, four straight points for them. Brunskill tries to get to the paint. Draws the contact. Will go to the free throw line. Francois. Let's watch it again. There you see Brunskill. Kind of went, off with yeah, that left kind hand of too. pushed off indeed. Yeah. Francois's first foul. Yeah. Brunskill missed the free throw. Two made, four miss right now for New Bedford. Second from Brunskill. Is good. 16 9 New Bedford. Francois to inbound. 33 is Hodge. Had to take Steel. it away. Watch out. Good iron. Oh. oh. Missed the shot. And then Baptista grabbing the rim. Violation with the ball on the cylinder. I don't know. It looked like Goodine maybe thought he was going to dunk it. Maybe when he got there, he changed his mind, tried to lay it up and in, missed the shot. <laughs> then Baptista grabbed the rim on the follow. <laughs> Francois gets it back, and he'll do it again. Hello. Well, we know one thing, and New Bedford with a violation. On the inbound, stepped on the line. Holy smoke. 
Brockton's already exceeded their scoring in the first quarter. Now with 11, so it's 16-11. 6 1 run to start the second quarter. And so we get a timeout. And Brockton will have the basketball. Sloppy play here early on. I think Brockton has decided to improve our shooting percentage. We're just going to try to get the ball <laughs> to John Francois in the open court. So yeah, I guess that would be a little bit better. Huh? Yeah, so he just throws it in. Throws it down. There you see the Brockton sideline yeah. with their head coach, Emmanuel DeBarros. 6.29 to go here in the half. It was well as early, but the boxes have started to turn this around. Most of it coming from transition basketball. Back to be fair, all of it's coming from transition basket basketball. Brockton will inbound after the violation by New Bedford. Ratto got it to Francois. Being guarded by Goodine. Kicks to the corner. And they're going to call steps on Nathan Ratto. He had Diakate faked out. Yep. Diakate came flying over to try to block a three, but he ended up getting called for traveling. Penetration there. Get the ball to Diakate, taken away by Brockton. Here's Francois. Got it ahead of the pack. Shot by Ratto, no good, and the rebound out of bounds off of Brockton. It's just a, a lot of basketball I've been watching. A lot of health of skelter kind of play, Joe. Just, you know, nothing really that looks comfortable. Oh, Everyone organized. seems like they're out of control. Yeah, not organized Jeez. for sure. Not what we're used to seeing. You can play with pace, but yeah. when you do, you need to be under control. Yeah, control. And have some idea what that frenetic pace is to look like. Here's Lloyd. Got it to Brunskill. Back to Lloyd. Diakate. Hand off to Lloyd. Tries to get to the paint. Bounce Good look. inside. And Diakate was there to lay it in. Good look from Lloyd there. That was a good move by Jevion Lloyd. And he may not be scoring, but he's doing good assists. Here's Baptista. Off the glass, up and in. After the Brockton turnover. Now Baptista is down. On the floor. I think he knocked the wind out of himself, either that or his wrist. Seems like he's going to run to the sideline. He's going to run straight to the well side of the bleachers, I guess. Yep. Get away from everybody else. Get the trainer to go see him. Good Another steal. steal. Here's Goodine. Oh, how's that not a foul? Missed the shot. Again, could have been fouled by Francois, but no call. Here's Francois. That's Lambert being guarded by Goodine. Lambert. Bad pass to Francois. Just turns it over. Lambert's only a sophomore. Chris mentioned a young team, and they've played like it so far. Here's Goodine. Brunskill tries to get to the paint, turns it over. Francois, and here he goes to the goal. And he's going to be called for traveling. I'm up to 13, Joe, in turnovers. That's a lot. It's pretty crazy. Still with 437 left yep. in the first half. And New Bedford's got seven, in which they've taken advantage of and clawed back in a little bit. 
Here's Goodine. Oh, Goodine walked, and that's the call. The battle is getting on the officials a little bit. Well, that was a clear travel, so yeah. they did get that one right. Number one is Chidi Nuosu in the lineup. High arcing baseline jumper is up and good by Armani Da Silva. And it's 20 to 13, New Bedford. Whalers get it inside to Brunskill. They're going to call a foul against Brockton. It's going to be against Nuosu. His first. Actually, that, that name's changed. His name is Chris Africo. Okay. Number one. Put that down. Chris Africo. Nuosu is no longer on the team. So we want to make sure we got that right. Chris Africo. A-F-R-I-C-O. 21-13. Whalers leading Brockton. Back in the lineup, Nathan Ratto. Number three for the boxers. There you see the crowd kind of sitting on their hands here tonight. And we've got a violation on White. It was on Diakate, not lined up right. You've got to have your feet I between guess. the lines. It's been one of those nights. Help the scalpel. So didn't want to get another turnover. The Barrels calls timeout instead. Brings us to 3.54 left here in the first half. 21-13 I score. Glad you're joining us on the New Bedford Cable Network. So there's 27 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Mm -hmm. So they were in danger of a 10-second violation. Yep. Just a couple more seconds in the backcourt, and they were not near the half-court line. No. It would have been a violation. No. The New Bedford sideline now and head coach Matt Hill. They figure out what they want to do. For the rest of this half, try to extend that lead. Continue to make Brockton chase. Joe, big one for the Celtics tonight. Nuggets in town. Yeah. Yeah. Nuggets. Um, Jokic. Look, yeah, Jokic. Yeah. Looked a little vulnerable the other night. Yeah. Against the 76ers. Mm -hmm. Well, they got a big guy who's pretty good, too. Yeah. Name Embiid. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes. At least during the regular season, yes. he's good. Yes. He's got Dallas Cowboys syndrome <laughs> in the postseason. I know that hurts, Chris. That's all right. That's all right. It'll be Brockton basketball. Lloyd is on the floor, knocked the ball out of bounds. Well, it looks like the Cowboys, Chris, had no interest in Coach Belichick. They decided to just roll the dice with Mike McCarthy for another yeah. year. Maybe, maybe they're just thinking that Dak, Dak just did not have the game, which he said that. He didn't. So, I don't know. Ball way up top to Ratto. I wouldn't see Bill and Jerry together anyways. That's no, difficult. No. Too many egos on that too, one. Too, <laughs> too many egos. That's why when people bring that yep. up, I say, no way. High no. arcing shot there from Africo. No good. But it's amazing that he's only had the interview with Atlanta, yep. no one else interested. So his style. And yeah, already going his, for number two. Yeah, he's going to either end up in Atlanta yeah. or nowhere. No, nowhere. A lot of these owners, they don't want to deal with that. Yep. Maybe only Arthur Blank. Basketball in the hands of Africo. He gets it to Corlett. Now again around the perimeter, back to Corlett. 12 on the shot clock. High arcing three from Francois. No good. Ball goes out of bounds off of Brockton. Yeah. 
Lloyd tried to penetrate. Got it to Goodine. Hand off to Diakate. Now gets it back. High post to Diakate. Now beyond the perimeter. Penetrates inside. Throws one off the glass. No good. Rebound to Okire. Advance it up the floor. Ratto tries to work his way inside. He's going to draw a foul on Goodine. This quarter has been a quarter of fouls. That was kind of a bailout there as Ratto really had nothing going on. Looking for his first points of the game with 2.09 remaining in the first half. Nathan Ratto hits the free throw. Baptista checks back in. JT Goodine checks out. And two free throws for Nathan Ratto. Good looking stroke on that free throw. That one was nothing but net. Yeah. Back to a six point lead. Penetration Lloyd off the glass, missed the shot. Diakate had his shot blocked. Here's Ratto for Brockton to the goal. No good, rebound to Brunskill. Advance it to Diakate. Yo, he had his shot blocked by Francois. Think Francois can leap? He's got some ups. Young man can go. Watch it again on the replay here. Bang! The big fella. No good from Diakate. And Brockton with it. Corlett. Plenty of time to cut this down. At least the one possession. Ratto. Francois is going to take the three. Shot an air ball. Rebound inside. Brockton with it. Okire no good, but Francois comes in for the cleanup. Ah, they lost sight of him. And New Bedford calls a timeout with 116 remaining in the first half. And it's 21 to 17. Whalers leading Brockton. Some of the stories that have gone on with New Bedford this year, some lapses where can't get no points going. Turnover after turnover, letting team back in. We saw it against Stang, saw it against a couple other teams. Volk. Yeah, Volk. Something that they need to really uh, work on, get better at. Can't have these these lapses during that time. So, uh, unfortunately for them, that's what they've done here in the second quarter, only scoring six points to Brockton's 12. Yes. So Brockton making a move here in the quarter, trailing it now only by four. After one, they were trailing at 15-5, and we were talking about the fact that who ever heard of Brockton scoring five points in a quarter? Certainly yeah, nothing we've ever experienced calling games here for New Bedford. So 116, Lloyd will inbound. Down four now. Excuse me, up four. Check that. That's Brunskill. Back to Lloyd. Penetration. Kicks it to Diakate. Off the glass and in. Ooh. And they're going to say count the basket. And they're going to call a foul, I believe, against Francois. That's going to hurt. Foul is called against John Francois, his, his second. Second. Diakate back to the free throw line. And he connects. 24-17 to Bedford now. 10 points for Diakate to lead everybody in the game. Ratto dropped it off to Francois. Back to Ratto. That's a 10 second violation. Sure is. Javion Lloyd to inbound. Oh, 
Siakade, penetration, kicked it inside to Brunskill. They turn it over, and then Pina walks. Brockton trying to set a record for turnovers in a half here, I think, Chris. I got 16. Of course, that's unofficial, but. Lloyd for three. He misses, but the cleanup by Diakate. Shooting from the outside has been horrendous for both squads. Yeah. Mostly all the buckets have been inside. Inside. Here we go again. Oh, almost had him. There it is. Turnover. Brunskill. Oh, he lays it in. After another turnover. Wow. That's Francois. Got it back to Ratto. He goes across the timeline. Good line. look. Bounce pass inside Pina. Off the glass, no good. And the quarter comes to a close. The Bedford finishes strong in the second quarter as Brockton is closed to within three, but the Whalers open it back up to an 11-point lead, leading the boxers after two quarters of play, 28-17. So they'll go to the half with a double-digit lead. And when we come back, we'll have all the stats for you. And second half between the boxes and the Whalers. All here on the New Bedford Cable Network. We are back at the half with the score, New Bedford 28 and Brockton 17. Joe Cabral and Chris Santos with you on the New Bedford Cable Network. And as we wait for the second half to begin, let's check in with Chris for the first half stats. Yeah, 15 to five after the first quarter in favor of New Bedford, then 28-17 at the half. So that's a 13 to 12 difference, one point for New Bedford. Let's start with the boxes. They were led by John Francois. He had nine in that first half. Two from Okura, two from Ratu, uh, two from Pina, and two from De Silva to round out their 17 points. I had him, Joe, six for 19 for 32%, but a whopping 17 turnovers really hurt the boxes. Meanwhile, for New Bedford, they came out and were led by Anthony Diakate. He had 14 Craig Baptista has five. Desmond Brunskill with four. Uh, Javion Lloyd with two. Joseph Goodine with two. And Jaron Goodine with one. I had them 11 for 29 at 38% with 10 turnovers. But just two teams not used to seeing this kind of basketball uh, from these two uh, high school basketball. You are right, Chris. Yep. Uh, you summed it up well there at the end. We're yeah. not used to seeing no. this type of basketball from these two teams. Aside from the two dunks from John Francois, it was a very slow-paced ball game in the first half, and usually it is absolutely wild 
when these two teams meet. Brockton comes out normally on fire and just, you know, up and down the floor pressing and transition basketball. Tonight it's been a lot of slow, deliberate play, and, and New Bedford um, took advantage of that in the first half, though they did not have a stellar first, first half by any means. You mentioned it, Chris. They only shot 38%. And had 10, 10, 10 turnovers themselves, but Brockton's just been so bad with the 17 turnovers and only getting up 19 shots as a result. So shooting percentage is very similar, but only 19 shots in that first half for Brockton. New Bedford had 29. It's uh, Red Arbach's old saying. Yeah. If you shoot the ball more, if you get more attempts than the other team, you're probably going to win, even well, if your shooting percentage is not that good. You know, everything's to the basket. Don't see much jump shots. Ball's getting taken away. If not, it's turnovers. To the goal, Diakate lays it up and in against Francois. He was blocked a few times by Francois in that first half, but not there. Had a good first step on him. Here's Francois. He's going to take the high arcing three. No good. Rebound inside. Goodine. JT got it to Jaron. Now up the floor. Lloyd ahead of the pack. Drops it inside to Diakate. Missed the shot. Seen a few from Diakate. In close. Got to finish your chances. This is number five, Forts. He had three fouls and it really hurt Brockton in the first half. You could tell his playmaking. To the goal, Francois lays it up and in. Whoosh. The one thing game. that we have seen here that we've seen from many Brockton players in the past is the ups from John Francois. Yep. Goodine with the basketball. He'll get it back. Penetration. Throws it off the glass. No good. Wow. Good job by Diakate. Keeping that alive on the second chance. Lays it up and in. Foul was called, I think. Goodine. Said he was holding yeah, the jersey. Goodine, his second. Yep. Inbound here for Brockton. Francois gets it back to Forts. Ratto from behind. Diakate, just another one of those bad fouls. Just no need for it. Exactly right, Chris. I mean, there's that's, just nothing that, that's, there. That's all you can I, say. I don't, want, about I don't understand what you see there. No, you're there's going nothing through, there. through a man. Fortunately, it's only the first against mm. Anthony. An offensive foul Moving called pick. against Francois, I believe. It is, and that's his third. And Brockton cannot afford to take him out. Let's see. Goodine to the goal, pulls it out, got it to Lloyd, he turns it over. Stop and take the shot. That's Lambert. Ratto back to Lambert. Kick to the corner. Now penetration there from Ratto. This time his shot is up and good. Tough shot there from Nathan Ratto. 32-21, New Bedford by 11. Lloyd inside, spins one up, no good. Rebound, loose. Lloyd has it. Gonna pull it out. Got it to Diakate. And now back to Goodine, JT. To Lloyd. He thought about the three. Pull up jumper. No good. Rebound. Taken by Brockton's Okire. Got it to Francois. And then Fonts. Back to Ratto. Francois. Lambert.
Baseline jumper Ooh. by Ratto, and his shot is good. Back to back for him. All of a sudden, Nathan Ratto Hello. off the bench. Back to single digits. With four points, here's Baptista. He's been very quiet, has won three, I believe, and that's it. Here's Lloyd against Lambert. Oh, just pushed off on Lambert. Official said no, but that was a clear push off. Here's Lambert. Forts kicks to the corner. Ratto for three. Not this time. Francois, Francois. inside. Got a call timeout. Think about it. Brockton back to within seven, 32 25. Him and Ratto have eight. And there it is. Bedford is going to call a timeout. Up seven now. 4.15 remaining in the third quarter. They're resilient. They're going to keep coming. It's 32-25. New Bedford leading Brockton. There you see the New Bedford cheerleaders. Early Boston Celtics score up by one, 14-13. Against the Nuggets. Against the Nuggets. Yes. Remember, they just are not about Jokic. Mm -hmm. They also have Murray, outstanding player, yeah. Aaron Gordon. Yeah. Well, no doubt, solid squad. Thirty-two twenty-five. New Bedford leads at four fifteen left in the third quarter. Brockton making a bit of a run here, scoring the basketball a bit better on those last few possessions, especially by Nathan Ratto. That's good, Ein. Now Lloyd works to the paint, Good look. drops it inside. Goodine squeezes up a shot. They're going to say count the basket and a foul. And I believe the foul is going to go against Judson Philogene. Back in the lineup, number 10. His second. Send Goodine for the old-fashioned three. Let's see if he can hit the free throw. His first of the, the evening. No good. Rebound to Philogene. Ball's deflected, but ends up in the hands of Forts. Tried to get it to Francois, but the pass was behind him. There's Matt Mora. You can see him with his pass. Bounce pass to the official. This is Lloyd. Works to the paint against Forts. And then they'll call traveling against Goodine. Brockton to inbound. Forts, New Bedford a little bit more passive. One, two, two, three quarter court pressure. France from the corner, that was Lambert. His first shot opportunity of the night, he missed the shot. Ball goes out of bounds, comes right over here to our table. Now Brockton to inbound. Penetration there from Fort. So a nice oh. move, but he missed the shot. Can't go. Did everything right but finish. And then Philogene just crashes into Goodine. His third. As Baptista comes in for Lloyd. Jaron Goodine being guarded by Lambert. Baptista, Rivera, long three. Shot no good. 
Francois, here he comes. Good oh, pass. nice bounce pass inside. Philogene missed the shot, missed but it. Francois is there, and he lays it up and in. Kid's working hard, ain't he? He is working hard, that's for sure. 15. Just doing dirty work at yep. the rim. Baseline. Diakate got it to Brunskill. Back to Diakate. Tries to spin his way inside. He's going to be called for steps as he tried to pivot back to his right hand. Take that 15-footer baseline. You're right there. That's Francois. Forts got it across the timeline by getting it to Ratto. Goodine thought he had it from Ratto. And now the official said that's enough. They let Goodine play physical there and go after the steal, but then eventually it was a bit too much. And he's called for the foul, his third. He'll head to the bench, and Jevion Lloyd will come back in. Inbound here from Ratto. Marcus Fonts, number five. Nathan Ratto, pass deflected, goes in the corner to Francois. Forts again, tries to work to the paint. Lloyd twisted his ankle yep. behind the pack, but Brunskill to the goal. Oh, and he missed the shot. And Jevion Lloyd is on the floor. He's going to hop off. Hopefully, it's not too bad. It's just a, an initial reaction. New Bedford up by seven. 34 27. I believe it was an ankle that he hurt at the Durfee game and was down for a little bit, then came back in the second half of that one and played some inspiring fourth quarter ball. Here's Desmond Brunskill shooting free throws. No good. <laughs> no good. Missed both shots. Brockton with it. They'll get it to Francois. Now back to Forts. And Ratto. And the foul is going to be called against Brockton, an offensive foul. Uh, was it 10 second violation? Let's see. It was down to 24. Maybe that was the call because they're so. not adjusting the scoreboard. Yep. So another 10 second violation. This time one against Brockton. Second one, they've had two actually. Here's Goodine. Couldn't work to the paint. Was shut down. Got it to Rivera. Way up top, Baptista. Weave here. Brunskill, oh, he traveled. Got away with it. Three second violation. Maybe that was a makeup for the fact that Brunskill traveled and it was no call, but either way, Brockton basketball. They inbound quickly. <sighs> Get it up the floor to Ratto. Francois for three. And his shot is good. Still in this game. Big time. Down to four. Here comes that lapse again from the Whalers. 34-30. Goodine to the goal. Draw some contact. Went into the body of Francois. And I think that's his fourth. If Brockton loses Francois, that's pretty much... All she wrote. Ratu is the only one who scored in this half. And he's going to head to the bench for a bit. Sometimes it's better to lose the battle but win the war. And Francois yep. there could have let Goodine get to the rim. And if he scores the bucket, then so Agreed. be it. Agreed. Instead, you commit a foul. He still gets one 
of the two free throws so far with the other upcoming. So he makes them both. You still give up the two points, plus you're out of the game with four fouls. Lambert. Oh, he was wide open. But he kicks to the corner, and Pina gets it back up top. Ten on the shot clock for Brockton. Ratto gets it to Lambert. Skip pass over the top. Pina deflected pass. Goes out of bounds. But there's only two seconds on the shot clock for Brockton. Gotta get up on him fast. There's no way you get off. You should be able to get yep. up a real good shot here. If you're in New Bedford, you've got to prevent Brockton from getting a good opportunity, and they do. Good the look. Turnover. Diakate. Oh, he tried to dunk it and missed the shot. And Matt Hill goes up with his hands like. Mm. <laughs> If you, know, if you know you're going to be able to dunk it and make it every time, yep. then you dunk. If you don't, then you just lay it in. Yep. Because that is a costly miss. Yeah, don't dunk. To one of the fans behind it said, don't dunk if you can't dunk. And don't that's foul. exactly right. To the goal, Ratto had it taken away. Here's Brunskill. Throws up a shot off the glass as time was running down. And the quarter comes to a close. And it wasn't a pretty one. But Brockton was able to capitalize a bit. They cut an 11-point lead down to six. After three quarters of play, it's New Bedford 36 and Brockton 30. 13 to eight in favor of the boxes in that quarter. And only down six. <laughs> Easily still in this game with eight minutes to go. But John Francois is on the bench, Chris, for he Brockton is. with four fouls. Yep, that's true. And he's a good ball handler. He's been their top scorer. He's got 18 on the evening for them. 18 from Diakate to lead New Bedford. Got to get some more scoring to uh, Joe. Diakate would four that one. Godine had two free throws, and Joe Godine had two points as well. And that's it. You know, got to find some more scoring. Very low scoring game. 36-30 after three quarters. Here we go, fourth quarter action. Francois back in the lineup, Chris, to start the quarter. Nathan Ratto goes to Francois. Gonna take a three, Ooh. shot rimmed out. Rolling the dice. Rebound inside, up and in. Fine follow there by Okire. And Nathan Okire has his Second bucket of the night. Need him to get going. That's Brunskill. Can't have that lapse for New Bedford in this quarter. To Rivera, kick to the corner, Brunskill. Goes to the other corner, but to Baptista. Back to Brunskill, open three, no good. Back up top, Rivera, he's open for a three. And count it. Isaac Rivera hits from distance. And New Bedford back up by seven. Ooh. Oh, Lambert gets Hello. absolutely hammered. Second on Diakate. Inbound here from Ratto. The official blows the whistle. 
hold on Brunskill. So Two quick ones under the for bucket. New Bedford. Second on Brunskill. Ratto to inbound. Gets it to Francois. Little pull up off the glass, no good. Rebound to Diacate. Baptista advances to Brunskill. He's going to be called for steps. <laughs> you hear the fan behind us with the big sigh. Big oh. sigh. It's just it's been one of those nights. Yes, it has. Neither team has looked comfortable. Francois Lambert in the corner, a three. Missed the shot. They'll get it inside to Ratto. Offensive. He's going to be called for an offensive foul. His third. Six forty-two left in the game. Thirty-nine, thirty-two. New Bedford leading Brockton. Baptista will inbound. Gets it to Rivera. Back to Goodine. Picked up his dribble. And that's what happens. And pass was stolen by Francois. And then a foul on New Bedford. Hmm. Turnovers continue to pile up, Chris. Number three in fouls for the team. New Bedford this quarter. Francois for three, no. Rebound inside to Okire, and then he's tied up by Goodine. The arrow favoring New Bedford, so they'll inbound. A lot of whistles so far this quarter. Yes, indeed. Big time. Baptista off the glass, up and in. Soft floater. Nobody challenged him. No one came up. Stopped the dribble. So he took it. Ratto. Got it to Francois in the corner. Lambert penetration. No foul. New Bedford up by nine now with the basketball. Goodine. From the weak side, it was Forts who came and took it away. Francois lay it up and in. Got to let him know that someone's coming on the opposite side. You got to help him. No communication. The two players collide. Yeah. It was JT Goodine and number 15, Okire. Baptista to inbound. Buffett still has two timeouts. Brockton has three. See if that comes down the stretch. They'll get the basketball to Goodine. Spins his way inside. Got it to Brunskill. Actually, no, check jump. that. Goodine. And JT Goodine lays it up and in. 43-34. Pass inside, another steal by New Bedford, and another Brockton turnover. Baptista for three. A pull-up three, and New Bedford leads it by 12. Good little run for New Bedford right there. Nothing better than a dagger with a three. So the Barrels will call timeout. They'll regroup with 4.45 remaining. And as Joe said, a 12-point lead. 46-34, New Bedford out in front of the Brockton Boxers. As the Whalers have their largest lead of the night now with 4.45 left. There's the Brockton sideline. And their head coach, Emmanuel DeBarros, is 
squatting there and talking to his squad. Well, Brockton has 34 points, Chris. Yep. And John Francois has over two thirds of those. Yep. He's got, let's see. He's got 20 points in the battle of the Celtics and Nuggets, 32-31 at the end of the first. Jokic with 15 points and four rebounds wow. to lead his team. And Porzingis, 15 points and a rebound. So the matchup between the big fellas. Yep. Maybe Porzingis taking it personal. I like it. And you're, if you're Porzingis, you can score from the outside, and Jokic really doesn't want to come out that far. No. So you're going to have your chance to score the ball. Tip, no good. Rebound inside. Another follow by Francois all over the yes. offensive glass. Got it. Collision on the floor, but a foul against Brockton, I believe. Yep. Forts. So he has four. Francois has four. Philogene has three. And Ratu has three. Only Goodine has three for New Bedford. Inbound here. Baptista, 4-3. No good this time, back iron. Rebound to Francois. Pass oh. back to Okire. Francois for three, no good. And a foul will be called in the rebounding action against Brockton. This is Lloyd. Turnover. Lambert lays it up and in. This is where New Bedford has to be careful. First points for Cody Lambert. Bounce at this side of the floor to Brunskill. Only up eight. Got to be careful. Oh, near turnover, and it is a turnover. Still three minutes and 33 seconds left. You saw the JVs let it go and they had a lead. Let's see what the Vosity does. Yes, indeed. This is Forts, Marcus Forts. And Brockton has to call a timeout to avoid a turnover. Yeah, and he didn't want to call that one. You no. can see it in his face. Three nineteen left, 46-38, New Bedford leading Brockton. Timeouts remaining, the boxers only have one. New Bedford has two. Now you see the Brockton sideline. Former head coach Bob Bowen in the background there. You can see on the right-hand side of your screen. And there is head coach Emmanuel DeBarros down on, well, I was going to say down on the knee, but in a squatting position. Six thirty-eight, New Bedford with Brockton inbounding. Five-second violation. So Brockton called the timeout yep. to get a good inbound, and instead <laughs> they get a five-second violation. Wow. Well, 
I think we've seen every call that a referee can make here tonight aside from a technical. Three second violation, palming. No, traveling, definitely, many times. Along with a multitude of foul calls. Inbound violation. Free throw line. Lane violation. To the free throw line for New Bedford, it's Anthony Diacate. First one rolls in. Second one, no good. Rebound to Brockton, down by nine. Nathan Ratto with the basketball. Uses a pit. Francois to the goal. Good he moves. lays it up and in. Strong, solid performance. Back to within seven. New Bedford leading it 47-40. Just made it by a second. That's Baptista. Back up top to Lloyd. Goodine. Lloyd bounces it inside. And Diakate lays it up and in. Yep. He's done that quite a few times, especially in the first half. Up by nine. Almost at the two-minute mark. Forts with the basketball for Brockton. Kicks to the corner. There's Francois for three. No. Rebound to Goodine. Got it to Baptista. Then Lloyd ahead of the pack. Teardrop. No good. Francois. Forts. Tries to penetrate. Then fortunately had the ball knocked out of bounds. He was in no man's land. Forts to inbound. Oh, off the foot. And they lost it. And a technical. Yeah. Phil Eugene will. Looks like nope. it was number 15. Oh, looks like number four is going to come in. Yeah, it was on. Good iron. Yeah, okay. No could, definitely. So Baptiste will go to the line. So Goodine fouls out. Five fouls on Goodine. Craig Baptista shooting free throws here. Makes them both. Fifty-one forty, New Bedford leading it by eleven. A minute twenty-nine left here. <laughs> Foul called against Brockton, and it's number five against number five as Marcus Forts fouls out. Yep. So two players fouling out here in one possession for Brockton. Inbound. No, check that free throws for Jaron Goodine. So Chris 
Africo comes in, number one. And Godine trying to wrap this up for the Whalers to get a victory. 12-point lead. Then if you're in New Bedford, you just play straight up defense, and but do no not fouls. fouls. Yes, absolutely. Two free throws for Jaron Goodine. Here's where New Bedford has to be disciplined. Well, I guess that went on deaf ears. So to the free throw line for Brockton. Number 20, Messiah Pina. Free throws up short. He's already missed two others, so now 0 for 3 from the free throw line for Pina. No good. Rebound to Francois. He's got it to Lambert now around the perimeter. The long three from Nathan Ratto, no good. Just slow Bedford it down. Should just be trying to hold the basketball hold the ball. here. They take a shot, no good. Follow up and in though by Brunskill. Oh, a nice block there by yep. Lloyd. Everyone's getting excited because Cam Davis checking in the game from the 22. Time. Nathan Ratto at the free throw line, missed a shot. Yeah, Cam Davis. Wearing number 22, he's a senior. Got his fan club. And he goes up and good. 48 seconds left. Inbound here. Get it to Goodine. That's Davis. Oh, oh shot would not drop. But he got the rebound. Got it to Baptista. <laughs> They're gonna try to find Davis again. He's a senior. Yep. Gonna get it to Goodine. They're gonna hold the basketball here. Yeah. They're gonna pull it out. Get it back to Davis. No. Yeah, he's got it. Gonna take a high archer. No good. Brockton with it. 22 was Varnell Pierre. Rockin will just pull it out and let the clock tick down. No, they're going to go inside and get it to Africo who makes the shot. But it's in a losing effort. Yep. New Bedford able to persevere, Chris, I guess is the word you would use. They played slightly better than Brockton, as Brockton really did not play well, scoring only 43 points. New Bedford with 55, and it's a 12 point win for the Whalers, improving their record to four and seven. Yeah, down year for the box is not what we're used to and accustomed to seeing coming into this building. So they'll have to play them again, obviously, uh, up in Brockton. I know they usually play a little bit tougher schedule, up a lot of teams up there uh, near Boston. But let's give the Whalers credit. Did what they needed to do. Got another victory, up to four. So think of it, Joe. Nine games left. Got to find a way to keep winning so you can make the playoffs. Yeah, get at least a 500 yep. and you make the postseason. Yep. The final score for a final time from the Beardsworth Gonzalez Gymnasium in the Ed Rodericks Court. It was the Whalers 55 and the Brockton Boxers 43. For Chris Santos, all of our staff here at the New Bedford Cable Network, I'm Joe Cabral. Thanks for joining us tonight. And have a good night, everyone.